Hello, my name is Tom Payne. I'm a mortgage loan officer with Home Funding Corporation. I've been in the industry for decades and I'm also a part-time instructor assisting new loan officers in obtaining their NMLS designation. I also write and uh, do a lot in terms of continuing education for real estate agents and loan officers. One of the questions I've asked over the years uh, is just this, how long do you have to be on your job in order to apply for a mortgage? Uh, you'd be surprised at the answer I get. So I'm going to ask you, how long do you think you've got to be on the job in order to obtain a mortgage? Well, a lot of people say two years, but you know what? That's wrong. It's never been two years. Honestly, it's never been two years. And people all the time think there's a two-year requirement before you can apply for a mortgage. Uh, let me explain more. The two years comes in. Here you go, gang. If you've got bonus income, we need a two-year history of that bonus income before it would be considered stable. Overtime income, part-time income, tip income, the very same thing. Also, for people that are self-employed, we need to see a two-year employment history. Then we're going to income average. Well, that's just a myth that's been out there for a long time. So what I want you to know is that you could be on the job a day, a week, a month, as long as it's considered full-time and your probability of continued employment is good. So if you're looking to purchase a home and you've thought all along there's a two-year restriction, it's just not true. My advice is go find a home funding corporation loan officer out there. They know the rules, they know the regulations, and you may be a homeowner sooner than you think. So thanks for my tip of the day. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.